Um, this is for anyone who's ever had to have a difficult conversation. FAQ. Do you hate men? FAQ. Are you all lesbians? FAQ. Aren't women already equal? FAQ. Are you saying I'm a misogynist? FAQ. Why are you so angry? FAQ. Why do you always have to be so... How to be nice when fighting for equality. Don't tilt your head Try not to recoil in horror. Don't squint your eyes or open your mouth slightly. Don't curl your upper lip like that. Make sure your eyebrows don't meet at an angle. This classic expression of the anger can be off-putting. Marginalized is unattractive, and you attract more flies with honey. So be honey. Be darling and funny. Always funny. People love jokes. Drop your shoulders and cross your arms. Smile. Smile. And not that Richter's grin either. You know the one I'm talking about. The one you pull out when you're trying to be polite. You're not about to have a stroke at this exact moment, so relax, it'll be fine. Keep your eyes bright and attentive, nod once in a while and throw in a couple of hmms. Then rip into, into them. them. Make sure you English good. Because nobody's going to take you seriously as a social justice warrior if you don't juggle jargon. Patriarchy. Mansplaining. Intersectionality. But you can't be patronizing. And you can't ever say the words, your privilege is your blind spot because the word privilege is now profanity. Do not sit straighter in your seat. It means you are ready for war. And wars are not meant to be started by its prisoners. Remember that even though we are under attack, we should not be aggressive. Remember that this is the way it always has been and you are expected to just roll with it. That if you fight it, you are being terribly, terribly rude. And who's to say it's not all just in your head? Hey, buddy. Can I talk some numbers at you? Yes, please. Numbers, 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 women. Numbers, Ooh. numbers, numbers, violence. Ah. Numbers, 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 inequality. I see it all so clearly now. Let's be honest. Even if I said all that, you wouldn't remember it. So let's try it this way. Do you believe in not being a dick to other human beings? Why, yes. Do you protest sexist language? Indeed, I do. I just said dick. I don't see it. And I protest that. In the name of equality, we should pepper colloquial speech with words like labia, clitoris, flaps. No, buddy, that isn't really equality. That's just lip service. Lip service? Like saying if women want to be equal, they should do national service or be caved in prison just like men? Exactly, because that's what we in the business of feminism call missing the point. So when you say you want equal treatment of all genders, you really mean recognizing each individual sovereign right over their bodies, the opportunities open to them, and a uh, third thing to round out this statement? Yes. But be careful, your jargon is showing. I think we may have lost a couple of people at the back. Whoops, let's get back to the jokes. FAQ, can you teach me more? FAQ, why won't you teach me more? FAQ, don't you want to make me understand how, how to, to make, make them, them understand? understand? Because here it is. You have to be good. But bad when it's appropriate. You have to appear not to ask for it. But take it when it's offered. Be, be cool. Be, be one, one of the dudes. dudes. Don't be too preachy. But know what you're talking about. Don't overanalyze. Don't alienate. You may have the correct words. But to them, you're speaking a foreign language. And you will battle this reluctance to simplify. Why should you learn to simplify something so layered and immense that it suffuses everything around you? That you cannot help but see through the smoke. And never learn to unsee. And do not hate yourself when you cannot make them see. Do not be disheartened when it seems the revolution is televised on a channel that nobody can access. Remember that you are lucky to be here in your skin, in your upbringing, to be able to recognize that there are opportunities taken away from you. Remember that because of this, people will say you have it good. That complaining's for those who ask imaginary questions. About imaginary things. That will only help imaginary people. But know that you are not imaginary, and we see you. So don't be nice, be empathetic. Be authentic. Be angry, be hopeful. be hopeful. Check your privilege at the baggage counter, but try not to chuck it away with your guilt. And when we prefix our points with, I'm sorry, but I disagree. I'm sorry, but I'm offended. I'm sorry, but you're a bigot. Think of how we're always saying we're sorry for the wrong things. It will always be an uphill effort. We need to move mountains set by history, so tell them that we cannot push without someone on the other side pulling. Reclaim their FAQs. Throw back frequently avoided questions. Watch them squirm for a bit. You get to have some fun. And when they seem surprised about the smoke, point, point them, them towards, towards the bonfire. bonfire. Which is that way? That way. That's the bonfire. <laughs> That's hey, the bonfire. bonfire! Thank you.